me on there, bro. Hey, let me start it off by saying I'm starting to record. Hey, man, thank you so much, Juan, for checking me out, man. And, uh, uh, man, I appreciate you stopping in your busy schedule to mess with me right quick, bro. Man. Thank you. Got you, bro. <laughs> we all got we all got to look out for each other, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why well, I'm real, I'll be, bro? I'll be busy today, bro. I was going, I was going to take out the trash at least twice, <laughs> at least at least three times. Right. And my 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 apartment has me and my wife. We everything is in order. That we, you know what I mean? I know we didn't cleaned up a million times yeah, in this one. <laughs> I just grab shirts and just throw them motherfuckers everywhere. <laughs> We need some normalcy up in this motherfucker. Hell yeah, yeah. Hey, you lucky to be, um, you know, set up with somebody, man, because there's a lot of dudes who they by themselves. Women, they going crazy, dude. You watch them on the internet, oh, losing their minds, and, uh, you know, talking no, shit. That, that, that's the sad part, man, because there, there is, like in Houston, that's gone up a whole lot. My cousins, I have a lot of you know, cousins, family, uncles, they're officers, police officers, secret service, yeah. all that stuff. But they said that domestic, man, is it's getting bad. And check this out, man. This dude choked out his girlfriend, choked her out, and, and they arrested him, and they gave him a $100 bond, bro. He paid $10 because they, they don't want to take inmates right now. In the yeah, county. yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they gave him, uh, his bond was $10 dude, for well, choking out a lady. Yeah, I was raised tell by my mom. girl that because she'll choke me out and get out on ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she already yeah. vicious. <laughs> she, my, 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 my girl got a, like like sixty seventy dollars. All right, <laughs> you say she's saving up for it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. She, she can do it. She can do it six times already. <laughs> All right, that's because, what's up. Because this is what this is what people that, that are married and stuff and they love each other. Yeah. This is when you when, this is when you know if you like each other. It's a yeah, bit different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You learning yeah, something about right yeah, now. My cousins, my cousins are like, hey man, are we really gonna be locked down for 15 days? I'm like, yeah, man. With my wife. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not sure wife, bro. You love her. I love her, bro. I love my wife, bro, but but not 15 days in a row, bro. <laughs> <laughs> in the wrong, bro. Exactly. Dude's <laughs> learning the hard way. You, you, yeah. gonna know, you, you know, you gonna know she hard to deal with after today. <laughs> but he's this yeah, so and, cool. and we're and we're lucky, man. My wife, we're cool. But I tell people, we we smoke a little blood, we good. We we don't yeah. We, we don't argue. We smoke. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> we're That's good. Hey, that. That's a good way. You always got to have one way to, uh, you know, to be able to make sure y'all get along and everything, man. So yeah, check this out. Let me let me rein this in a little bit. I know you can get all get loose on me. All right. So prior to, man, I have been, you know, of course, I keep in contact with you and keep watching you, man. So uh, first of all, give my people a little, uh, little summary of who you are, you know, what you've been doing, you know, because uh, they, okay. may, they may or may not know you. They should know you. And I'll say, man, yeah. One thing that I like to say about some of the cast that I actually fuck with is if if Netflix was had somebody running the shit that actually knew what they were doing, you'd have 10 Netflix by now, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we're, we're uh, you know, Aaron, I, I was taking my parents, okay? Like, that, that was the thing, bro. So they were calling me. They're calling yeah. me. I have, I have two sets. That it's polished. They're clean. I did them all across the country. But yeah. uh, you know, my, my father passed away in October, oh, so it was like a it, it was like a three years it was like a three year thing, and it was it was bad because it was you know, dialysis. It went really bad, mm -hmm. and and now he's resting, bro. And okay. and it took me a couple of months, and now in January I started. So yeah. February I got about twelve deposits. You know, some big deposits. Yeah. So that yeah. that's that's why I'm living okay right yeah. now. Like you know, yeah. I'm paying the rent and this and that because. You, you but yeah, set up. but 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 I'm gonna get it, bro. I'm gonna get yeah. that up. Man, I look yeah. forward to it, man. Cause you know, I, I believe in you, man. From the man, I don't, I forget. I think I might have saw you in like maybe '96, '97. Yeah, or something well, I did like BET. I did BET two in '92, man. Ooh. I did BET and, and I, right. I I did comedy. I started in March of '92. Yeah. And uh, in October, November, I was on BET and HBO. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. That, that was crazy, man. Eight months right. in the game, and then you already, you know what I mean? You just shot up like that. Yeah. Man. So that's yeah, dope, man. Yeah, that's and so I did BET, I did BET 11 times. I'm on that DVD with Cedric. I'm the only Mexican on the DVD with Cedric, the starting okay. lineup, and, <laughs> and with Jamie Foxx, Palooza, and yeah, 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 I came, yeah. I came, I came second in the black comedy competition in Oakland. 
that, 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 that's what got me on the DVD with Cedric and Jamie Foxx. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, awesome, yeah. man. That's a testament yeah. to who you are and what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, that's cold, bro. I I love it, and that's but, what I, but I respect why. the game and I respect yeah. comics. And Absolutely. I don't spread rumors, and I don't. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Uh, talk, I don't like to get. In, I don't like to get in drama shit, dude. That's why I stayed away from LA. Okay, why, uh, I can believe that. Yeah, yeah. LA is such a cutthroat place, man. It's yeah. just so cutthroat. So and then they, they lie to you right in front of you, bro. <laughs> and, and I told this dude like, bro, I'm gonna hit you. Just it's okay if you just say you said. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say nothing. After right. I hit him, all right, man, I'm sorry. Like, I wouldn't have to hit you. you yeah, but man. I was, I was young, dude. I was 30, 29, 30. I'm 53 now, so. Yeah, But yeah, that's, yeah. Why, that, that's why I left L.A., man. Too much drama, man. Yeah, I, I, I respect that, man. So so uh, give me about two of your current projects that you, you said you, you know, you got a couple – uh, deposits for just let let us know something that we that you were working to post uh, pre COVID, oh, and we're gonna go yeah. through how you dealing with the COVID. You know, yeah, I was gonna do. Uh, I was doing in Denver. This is the thing because it started that uh, that week, and my show was on Saturday in Denver, and it was gonna be. I was gonna host. I was gonna MC uh, Latin Foundation. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it was yeah. gonna be you know good. It was a it's like a nine thousand dollar gig. I had to. Yeah, that just kind of says, look, we want you here in the tuxedo. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and that's you, and, that's and, what we and, all want, you know. Yeah, and that's what they said. And they said, if we want just a black, you know, you can't, uh, you can wear a hat. We know you like to wear a hat. Because they thought I was bald, but now I need it. I'm <laughs> throwing, bro. Yeah, yeah. And what do you call it? And I said, uh, okay, cool. And then that Thursday before my flight left, Friday morning at 9, and Thursday about, I mean, Thursday about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning that night, they called me and they canceled it. Oh man, well you know we, yeah, we're but with I the mean, for, 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 yeah, but it's for safety, whatever. But yeah, yeah, but that was like, ooh man, that was, you know what I mean? It's a thousand. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I've been broke for a while, man. It was like, ooh, I can use this, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you on that. Plus, it's plus it's one of those gigs that you really want. I mean, if you get three three to five pictures of yourself doing that gig, man, you you're gonna expound that. You know what I mean? Well, the, ma the mayor was gonna be there. The mayor yeah. was gonna be there. They were gonna give me the award. Uh, they were, it was gonna be, it was gonna be a big deal, man. Yeah, that's awesome. So, but man. but I don't ever say, oh man, because no. like, you know people people are going through shit right now. So it's like, you know what I mean? I just yeah. let I just relax and just wait, and it's coming. I'm yeah. patient. I've been doing this 29 years. I'm patient. Yeah, 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 no yeah. doubt. And you know that, man, it's really a, a blessing that the thing we do, man, it makes you, it fulfills you. I look at it like this. I got a bunch of buddies who've been in cubicles for 20 years, man. They've been working for some dude. They they got nice stuff, you know what I mean? They can yeah. say they got a nice car, they got a nice house or whatever, but they done spent nine hours a day, every day since we graduated college in some cubicle staring at some computer and they miserable people, man. They all super gray, you know what I mean? Yeah. They, and, and they wrinkly, they face look like they've been drinking for the, you know what I mean? Those, these companies, those. man. You know what I mean? If you're working for a company and you're doing something, you can always strive to do something better. You yeah, know, yeah. I mean, if it takes you a year to learn something that, you know, get to where you want to be, where you'll be happy. Yes. Yeah, I mean, so some, I, some people, some people want to make a lot of money. Some people, like people ask me, man, like, wow, why haven't you been in no movies? Why haven't you done this? I was like, how do you know that I'm not exactly where I want to be? You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, yeah. how, do, how do you know? Because some comics, you know, Aaron, they, they, they want that movie, man. They want that big special. They want to do movies and they, you know, like the Kevin Hart, they want to do stuff like that, whatever. And I hope they get it. And if I can help them, I will help them. Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't mind going to a comedy club, working for the weekend and making a little 40, 50,000. That's cool. Yeah, I'm exactly. Good. That's yeah. that's what's up. And then and then nobody bugs you a whole lot. And yeah. 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 Every every now and then family comes over and you you gotta say something stupid like, damn, they're about to repo the car, I could have gave it. So like, oh yeah. you hurt me? They find out, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, right, yeah, so, yeah. So, no. so before they ask me, I gotta yeah. say, damn, man, I don't know how we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I seen I seen how fame can be a a terrible sword, man. You find out yeah. like you know, like uh cats that we have interactions with like Craig Robinson, Hannibal Burris. Them dudes can't sit in a bar no more, man. They can't just nah. sit somewhere without nah. people grabbing on them and touching on them and wanting to be all on them and they make you uncomfortable. You can't snap yeah. on them because you end up on nah. TMZ. 
and, you know, then, and yeah, and then, and then the, those are, that's how we live. That's why we're chilling the bar because people like that supporting us. And yeah. so, yeah, it's a, the yin and the yang. It's a good thing and a bad thing. But yeah. I'm lucky, Aaron, because I get to take off, you know, I get to take off my hat. Yeah. And people don't recognize it. But like, you know, when I take off my hat, when I take yeah. off my hat, because I, I haven't been on TV one time without a hat. Well, BET okay. my first time. But yeah. after that, the hat went on. I've had the hat for 29 years. Right. So, so when I go places, Walmart or whatever, I take my hat off. You know, some people be like, oh, I don't know who you are. But some yeah. people just be looking at me like, but like, then at I the end, I put my hat yeah. When I'm leaving, I put my hat on. I'm like, I knew that was you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, it feels good, man. Yeah. Awesome, man. And uh, so, okay. So current COVID, man, have you been doing any special writing? Have you been writing anything? Like, you may not want to be in movies, so to say, out front as quick as you can, but... Uh, yeah. Have you been doing some writing we could look forward to? Movies, anything like that? I know yeah, I, that. we got some idea. You know, Aaron, this is uh, kind of hard to say, and, and I'm not trying to brag or nothing, whatever, but like I've never written down nothing. I've never, yeah. BET, you know, a lot of these comics have to write down their set. Yeah. You know, word for word, whatever. And BET would ask you, what are you going to do? And I'm like, well, I don't know yet. Yeah. And they were like, right. they would be like, okay. Right. Uh, I'm like, you know what I mean? Because they knew, like, well, so I don't know yet. Let me watch these other comics first. Yeah. Because sometimes you, you have a set done. and then you see 10 people in front of you, do, you know, stepping on everything you do. So yeah. then you, you flip you it. You got to go with it. So, yeah, man. Yeah. That, that's what I've, uh, I forget who told me, like, like, a major comic was like, that's the difference between a comedian and a comic. A comedian can yeah. go on there and talk about anything and it's going to be hilarious. A comic needs a set. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they need to stick with it. So that's one of those ingrained de uh, definitions yeah. that people used to use. Like, there used to be yeah. rules to this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, it was, and, and it was weird because, like, I'd go backstage and you see 20, 30 comics, everybody listening to their stuff, writing their stuff, looking at their notes, and yeah. they, they, they were just so... And I was just, you know, you know I, had just, <laughs> I, I, had, I had just hung out with Tupac. This was in 94. Yeah. Being Pac, and was that out. So I'm like, what's up? I was all excited and talking, like, what's up, man? This dude is like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in there having, having a good time. But right. Some right. comics, some comics have to work harder than others. And yeah. if you're that comic, do it, bro. You know yeah, I mean? no doubt. And, but push yourself, man, and get there. Some mm -hmm. of us can just smoke a joint and go on stage and talk about an hour and <laughs> get, a, get a standing O. And so, and an o right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's dope, yeah. man. Have you uh, had much contact, speaking of that, with your guy, uh, Mikey O from Chicago? Didn't you used to mess with him somewhat? You remember that yeah. dude? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I haven't. It's been, it's been a while. Okay. I started getting corp I started getting corporate gigs. Yeah. Like, you know, galas and stuff like that, and they want to be there. And uh, so, you know, of course, I had to, you know, the language, and, you know, whatever, and PG-13. And that's cool. And now I go to schools, man. I go to schools talk about bullying. Yeah, and uh, so they want me. You know, I talk to them, the kids. So now they want me. Uh, they're trying to set up something where I can go to like as many. You know, for the whole year, go to a, a different school every day, Monday through Friday. Yeah. So, and and, and that's it, it. Doesn't pay much because it's a school, and I don't want that much, whatever. But it's like five hundred bucks a day. Yeah, yeah. Or, but or, it feels or, good. Or they, they, but a thousand or something like that. But it's like every day. So it's yeah. like five thousand a week. That's just in, in the daytime. That's just between yeah. eleven and one. So right, you can right. still work at night. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this year, man. I'm really looking forward to going out there and letting people know, because you know I, I've been held up for about four years and fuck. I mean, fucker, I'm ready, bro. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I can believe it, man. Strong. I look forward yeah. to it. I can believe it, man. So I'm um, doing a show tonight. I'm doing a, a, a private show tonight in this. <clears throat> they go house and it's gonna be I think six to eight people in in the crowd. Like they they're all separated. Yeah, it's gonna be live on Facebook. I'm gonna do it live on Facebook, whatever. And they oh, do, that's hot. And they they're gonna say you know one's gonna work with tips. You know what yeah. I mean? Like and, I, and and the only reason I'm doing that because some comics are working for tips right now. Yeah. And and somebody asked me that and I said no, I don't work for tips. Right. Like you know I've I've been you know I've graduated from that whatever. Yeah. And then uh and then my cousin he's a cop he picked me up and uh. And, and I told him, and he's like, so you don't work for Chips anymore? Like, nah, cause I, and like he, he, I'm like, what? Is that bad or what? Oh, I'm, I'm acting like, he didn't say nothing. He yeah. was letting me play with my head. You know what I mean? Like, so what, is that bad? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to act badass now, right? Like I, <laughs> so, 
So tonight I'm doing a show. This is the thing here. I'm doing a show tonight at a big old house. I mean, everything's going to be separated, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, and and they've already uh you know because they put my name on there yeah they've already they've already tipped like eight hundred bucks Damn, you know what I mean beautiful, so it's, so so it's different but it makes <clears throat> you feel feel bad because I haven't even performed yet and some of these guys these young guys I love working with young comics and, and they're going out there and then they're working hard and they're making you know hundred hundred fifty which is they, and they're happy with that yeah and and me I feel like like this is cheap I feel like I'm taking somebody's gig away you know what I mean bro. I feel like no. I'm taking somebody's like. <laughs> I know what you mean, but no, you paid yeah, your dues. Nah. You paid your dues. No, yeah, so. I paid my, I paid my dues. Yeah, and, you paid your dues. and then I like comedy, man. I like, yeah. I like performing. And this yeah. is gonna be a free thing on pay uh, on a, a Facebook. Yeah. And and, I, and I'm just gonna uh, share it and just give everybody an, at least an hour, of just you know, material, real. I don't ever cheat the stage. Yeah, this yeah. gonna be jabbering. This is gonna be material, bro. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna uh, make sure I get a chance to send that around, man, when you uh, when you do it. This probably, uh, it probably won't be edited enough for me to get this out later today because I got like maybe two more interviews today and then, you know, I got oh, some man. people. But uh, I'm gonna try to help uh, push that around, man, because, uh, you know, that's what's up. So that's great, man. <clears throat> so... Um, all right. Now, post uh, post COVID, which is, you know, this thing is kind of centered around COVID, man. What yeah. do you, what, you know, I don't, I hate to sound like an interviewer from, you know, a job or some shit, but where you see yourself yeah. at in like two to five years uh, with this comedy thing? What, what plans uh, do you I'll, wish to pop I'll be up? A, I'll, be a, I'll be a millionaire. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, no, I'll be a millionaire, bro. Like, you know, you know, I'm not gonna bring it up no more, but I, I took care of my parents or whatever. My my stepmom, you know, I went to the doctor, whatever, she she got sick and then, you know, she passed away. And then my dad I quit comedy for ten months. Uh, oh. dude, it cost it cost me I lost my house, car, whatever. Then then I took care of my dad. My dad got sick. Yeah. And then uh then I got him good. And yeah. then my mom got dementia. My my, my real mom got dementia. Man. So she's in a facility now. I can't even speak to her. It fucking drives me crazy. Yeah. And then my dad and then my dad just passed away. So and then my mom's in a facility. So it, it was like so but I got ideas because you know, people think I'm a genius, but it's like no, it's, it's that's a broke idea, motherfucker. This ain't yeah. this don't come out of like I'm I'm a genius. This is like how can I get is like a little kid, that little me? You get that yeah. little that little kid, right? So I'm like, how can I get the fuck out of here? <laughs> yeah, so so what I was gonna do, man, I was gonna do a 420 show. Yeah. And uh, I was gonna charge, I was gonna call it a double dime. Yeah. Say, look, man, we all gonna smoke. Well, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I smoke a little bud. I'm like, we're all gonna do a, a pay-per-view and uh, we're gonna smoke one across America at the same time, 9 p.m. Oh, Central. Fine. We're all gonna light one. We yeah. get to interact and we're gonna, we're gonna smoke. And yeah. it's in that, and uh, they say, one, you don't get at least 2 million people. Like the 420, that's good. That, that's worldwide. That's YouTube. That's yeah, everything. You gonna, you gonna and, kill it, man? man. Uh, yeah, and, and do two million people at 20 bucks? That's 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 40 mil, bro. Like, yeah. I I I'll, I'll go by your house one day, Aaron, and chunk your little 20, 30 thousand, man. Have fun, and uh, I make 40 million. I'm out, partner. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, <laughs> right. I think you. I don't think you'll quit. You should have just be all no. yours, though. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and, and 40 I'll, million. I'll have to I won't have to charge nobody nothing and I'll be able to help people and yeah. I want to raise my grandkids because, you know, I want to raise my, because my sons are working and everything, but I, I have eight grandkids, man, and I want them all to have everything, their their feet good, their teeth good, their hair, their skin, like, yeah. like, like, Popo going to take care of them, man. That's, <laughs> Damn, sure you got eight grandkids? Woo, shit. Yeah, man. Well, I have six kids, man. My, my son, my oldest is 34. You I got, got six kids? Oh wow, yeah. bro! The road yeah, has been man. good to you. Huh? <laughs> well, no, I, w I was married. I was married for twelve years, and I had five with my ex. So I had four boys, and then okay. one the girl, and we had a little girl. Yeah. And then you know this game, the way the, the whatever we didn't we didn't you know make yeah. it. We thought it'd be best. Yeah. And then later later on, I uh, ten years later, I met somebody, and and, yeah. and she got she got pregnant. Yeah, <laughs> you got it's, another. It's, fun. it's funny, yeah. man. And so I got a baby mama, and what do you call it? And then my my daughter, my daughter, we talk and stuff, and she's like, "So they did whatever." And I said, "Look, me and your mom never had a chance like to fall in love or nothing. We dated a few times, and then she got pregnant." Yeah. So my daughter, my 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 daughter goes, "Wait, wait, that's so, 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 so I was an accident." 
<laughs> I, I had to look at her in her little face and say, Mija, you, your sister, and your four brothers were all next to me. <laughs> Me, 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 and, uh, me and my ex-wife never looked at each other and said, hey, you want to have another one? Never. <laughs> never. It was yeah, just it like, was God I, damn it. I would <laughs> That's drive, my period would, again. Yeah, uh, so it, it got to the point where I was just driving the driver and she just looked at me like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I'm lucky, man. My, my boys are still, you know what I mean, still here with me and we have yeah. so much fun. Dude. My sons are actually funnier than me, bro. But they're going to get on I, stage, man. They're going to they gonna try know? to get on? No, they, they don't, man. Because, you know, they used to hang out. I used to take them on the road since they were 16, 15. So they, yeah. they, they know Mike Epps and Cat Williams and Steve Harvey. And yeah. Steve Harvey, my, my son, Steve Harvey, was getting changed one time. And my son was eating some nachos. Yeah. He had the munchies in. <coughs> and Steve's like, where'd you get them nachos? He goes, I paid for them at the, at the stand. I'm like, man, can I get some? And Steve started eating some. And after, <laughs> after, after, the, third, after the third nacho, he, he dipped the jalapeno, right? Yeah. And Steve ate a, a nacho and a jalapeno. My son goes, uh, hey, Steve, man, you know I love you, man. You take care of my dad and everything. Thank you, man. But uh, these were $15, dude. <laughs> like, I mean, like, like you Steve Harvey, man. And, yeah, and you got Steve, money. Man, well, I, yeah, but, I mean, I'll give you another one. If you want one more, I just want to let you know they're $15, man. Yeah, that's funny as hell. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. them bitches be expensive as motherfuckers, yo. Steve, Steve goes, I'm, I'm going to get you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take care of that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to look out for you. And yeah. my son thought he was going to do that. Yeah. And Steve goes, uh, you know I ain't going to give that motherfucking shit, right? Like, <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> so so it, it was a joke. It was a joke to the end. Now, yeah. check this out. What Steve did, because we did two shows. It was New Year's Eve. Steve yeah. Harvey told his limo driver to take my sons, you know, my daughter, to, to back where they live. Yeah. But they live, they live in the hood. <laughs> so the the, the li- and, it, and it's New Year's Eve. Yeah. So the limo driver was a black guy going into a Mexican neighborhood, and my yeah. kids are all having fun in the limo. And the, the, then the guy was like, "Um, uh, where, where are we going? A uh, Meadowbrook? Oh, what what what? Uh, are they shooting? Like, well, is he, is he? man, when that limo driver got back to the show, like, why? Man, you need to move. <laughs> <laughs> they were shooting all these yeah. baskets in the front yard. They all had guns. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got, he got, he got scared, man. That That's was, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Chicago too, boy. Because you, you know, know I, I, it was a big people. It was three, you know, it was six thousand people. We did two shows, and so this, you know, I'm getting paid well. So the limo driver thinks, oh man, he must have a really nice home. Nice home <laughs> right, he live in right. Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, they, were, they live with their mom, so I was living, yeah. you know, in, in a small apartment. So they went over there. <laughs> that was it, bro. He's like, man. Hilarious. I, 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 I ain't never going to that. What is it? Seabrook? I said Meadowbrook. Yeah, I ain't never going to Meadowbrook. No more. I heard that. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to wrap this up real soon. But, man, tell us, what's the biggest show you've done, man? You said 6,000 with them, but what's the biggest one you've done? The biggest ones I've done is with, uh, it was with Carlos Mencia in 2008. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and we were doing a... Uh, Shit, basketball, you know, 18,000, 15,000, 19,000. Yeah, yep. man. We did a hundred, we did a hundred and uh, 34 shows in 140 days. Wow. So it's like, it's like every, every two, three weeks, they would, they would send everybody home. Yeah. They would fly everybody home for two, three days to pay bills, whatever, and then come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's he doing, man? Do you, do you still have any contact with him? I was on a, uh, his, 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 yeah, I was on a, Zoom last night with him. Oh, okay, how's he and, doing, yeah. man? Because I know he was, he kind of got, you know, that issue with uh with old boy. Joe Rogan. That, yeah. 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 And and that kind of. Joe Rogan, and I liked him, man. I liked yeah. Joe. Like, I thought he was cool and stuff. And then, uh, I don't know who made him the comedy police for him to do that. And, you know, I grew up in, in the hood, man. So, like, I'm. Yeah. Like you, like you don't handle shit like that on stage, crying. You know? yeah, you look, uh-huh. And then you Joe Rogan, you're an MMA fighter. Motherfucker, act like it. Man, so he can't do that shit in Chicago. He he won't right. get to his car. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 bop, bop. Oh, yeah, Joe Rogan and, today has and, died and, based on bullet shots. Now, I'm not and, mad at him. I ain't, I ain't uh, you know, I ain't doing great. On he, no, he's doing great, man. He, he's yeah. doing good. I love his podcast and everything, but if I would have been on that stage and he yelling, like, yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna swing first. 
You know what I mean? I mean, you know what, man? Um, us being like that, in this long right. enough, a lot of that's these young right. kids do a lot of stealing of, of material now, right? So I don't know why Carlos Mencia, you know, could have been like, hey, man, you know, I don't know what his, what his real uh, reaction should have been, but I'd have been like, hey, man, um, check it out. I ain't steal they shit, but if it looked like I did, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, it's yeah. really about this yeah. audience. If this audience is laughing, I don't give a fuck because ain't nothing and, and, new in this business anyway. Red Fox was doing uh, 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 the same jokes we was all doing. Man, Ed, Eddie, Gr Eddie Griffin says he was doing Richard Pryor, Chris Rock. They all said, I was doing this guy. I was doing that. Yeah. Right. Everybody has mentors. Aaron, I don't know if you remember watching BET. They used to show 20 comedians at one time going like, man, my mama used to whoop my ass. And then another comment, yeah. ooh, did, did y'all mama exactly. whoop y'all's ass? Ooh. Yeah. So it's like we all grow up, you know, talk about the same thing. Now, the stealing thing, People are like, Juan, like, that's your boy. You hang out with him, you do shows with him. Like, that doesn't bother you, stealing? You go, and then they're like, man, you real. They're like, that's what bothers us. I'm like, yeah. that's what, that should help you understand. Because I'm a real motherfucker. And if that dude, that's my homeboy. But if he really stole a couple jokes or whatever, I, I'd be the first one to call him out. You know what I mean? I'd be okay. the first one. Say, what the hell did I know? As yeah. a matter of fact. A couple times, he, he didn't even know certain people, and he did something. I said, hey, bro, I know Tim Kaminsky. Who's that? That's a guy who does a joke just like that almost. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and, uh, you know, in the 90s, the, everybody on BET was doing OJ jokes. 20 yeah, motherfuckers exactly. doing OJ jokes. Like, yeah. It's just Cardo's fucking started selling out, making yeah. money. He's super intelligent, bro. Yeah. And and he, he started he started making money and you know he sells out to white rooms. Yeah, like, have man, I ain't mad at him, bro. Rooms. It's really yeah. about surviving our neighborhoods. So however yeah. he did it, man, good for him. I'm not and mad. Joe, at I him. wish I could talk to him. I wish I, had, you know, because they say, would you do a podcast with Joe? And I'm like, yeah, I would love to. And say, why why did you do it like that? Why didn't you just pull him to the side or, or you know be a real G? Or if you're gonna do yeah. some shit like that on stage, why didn't you swing? You know what I mean? Like, why, 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 why didn't, why didn't you, you swing? Because they can't. And no, nobody was going to swing when I saw that. Yeah. I was looking at, oh, they're, they're about to fight. Like, those two are millionaires. None of them are going to hit each other. Yeah, no, ain't nobody but, trying but, to see that lawsuit. But I was yeah. looking at Joe, man, like, because I like Joe. I don't, I don't hate comics. I don't. And, no. and I, I'm looking at Joe going like, man, you fucking up. And then the next morning, you know, Gersh's agency fired him. They fired, they fired Joe Rogan? Right well, after that, that, no, Carlos is making way more than Joe. Joe, he got, Joe can't, he wasn't filling out, he wasn't even filling up clubs. Okay. Carlos was doing the arenas and shit. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was stupid money. So, they called up Joe, so that was stupid, we're going to let you go. And he was, he talks about it now. Okay. You know what, they, they, they even asked him, they said, how do you feel about that? Do you feel, do you regret that? you have any regrets about that? And he says, yes. He says, yes, because I I seen a couple of Carlos Mencia shows. I stuck in and I saw him. And uh, he didn't mention nothing. He doesn't talk about nobody. He did comedy. The crowd loved him. Yeah, every, that's, what, that's all that counts, man. That I do. Every show that I do, they all, they yeah, talk about Carlos. Talk about Carlos. He goes, I oh, can't even get into my material. Yeah. yeah. So he had to live with that for, you know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. still going through like he's yeah, still yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's yeah. permanently tied to that moment in his career. Yeah. At this point, man, and and, and, be, my, and be, people people really ask me. People really ask me here, like Juan, because my cousins are like, damn, Juan, what would you have done? I'm like, if somebody come yelling at me on stage, I I would have busted him one time. And he goes, but that's Joe Rogan, man. He's training to like. I'm not saying I was gonna whoop his ass. I was, <laughs> I was gonna take my. I was, I was gonna take my shot. And, yeah. and we don't know what happened. If I get lucky and drop him. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Give me a tour. Right. Be a tour. Like, why, why I beat up Joe Rogan? Yeah. But if, if Joe Rogan would have whooped my ass, it'd be another tour. Like, why Joe Rogan beat me up? Right. You know yeah. I mean? It would have been I, just the rich. Yeah. I, I'm going to win either way. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what's up, man. Um, Give us some places, like some emails, websites, things that you want, you know, people to yeah. be able to check yeah, you out on. Well, you know? I'm starting to do more Instagram and stuff. So it's a. Uh, only Juan V. Okay. You know I mean, like O N L Y J U A N V as in Victor. 
Okay. Because, okay. Cool. Yeah. Only only one V, and then you know, uh, if you go to my website, only one dot com. I made it easy, man, because Juan Villarreal was kind of hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> but I but I get but I guarantee you, in two three years, a whole lot of motherfuckers will be saying Villarreal, Villarreal. I mean, I'm gonna hey, get them there because I I got some big big stuff. Yeah, that's awesome, man. You may you may be playing humble, man, but a lot of dudes actually know you know know what you do on stage, especially the in, inside the business. You know what I mean? And it's a lot of fans that know you. They come to your shows and have a good time. So keep doing what you're doing, man. I and, am, bro. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day again to uh, spend some time with me, man. And we're gonna see you each woke, other. You woke on the road me up, fucker. You woke me up, bro. <laughs> it's like I put I put on my hat. Glad I had to change shirts. I put my watch. And look, bro, I'm in my pajamas and my socks and shit. Like, I only look good from up here. <laughs> <laughs> from the chest up, huh? Yeah, every, everything else is pajamas. They got a couple holes in them. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. You just keep it real, man. Hey, hey man, man, to all you young, all you young comics out there that write different sets or whatever, work on your work on the fundamentals. You have to put your work in, and yeah. don't worry about other comics. Yeah. Don't worry about no matter how funny. The other comic is, it's not going to take away your funny. So right. just work hard, man, and you can do it, man. Like, we got to help our younger comics, man. Like, we're, we're mentors now, and I didn't know that, but, you know what I mean? And I give them good advice, man. Hey, I tried to do that, man, and they started acting real funny, so I, I hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes, those dudes, as soon as they do that, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah all right, bro. Peace. Like, you That's know what, what I had to do. So, you know, it's yeah. one of those, man. But on that, I'm going to go ahead and end this, man. I thank you again. I, I, uh, we're going we gonna to do something soon. We're going to do, do it, do bro. Soon. Yep. After, all, after all this is over, man, people, man, stay home. Be smart. They're trying yeah. to open some of these states. People losing money. But be smart. Take care of your family, man, because I haven't been sick in 30 years, Aaron. I don't drink. I, don't, I take care of myself. I lost 80 pounds in, in 2008. I've kept it off. Okay. Us, whatever. So, so I, I stay healthy. So I'm the, I'm the problem because I can go out there. I'm not going to get sick, but I could give it to somebody else. Okay. So we, we, just, we just, we just, we just got to be smart and take care of our family, man. That's Everything it, will man. be back. Everybody just, just let it take his time. Maybe, maybe God got mad there and said, you know what? <laughs> Everybody go home. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. Like, in the United States, in the, in, in the world. Everybody, right. China, Italy, Rome, everybody go home. Yeah, exactly. He was real yeah. mad at Italy, shit, and Spain. Yeah. Damn, I yeah. don't know what they did, yeah. but they yeah. got everybody, their ass whooped. Everybody go home. Everybody go home. And and, and it's cool because people are spending more time with their families and, and stuff like that. And it's mm -hmm. it's kind of kind of cool. The money wise, they're gonna they're gonna help. If you need money, they're gonna help you, man. They they want everybody to have money. So even if you owe child support, there's another company now say we're gonna help fathers. You know, if you owe child support, back child support, they're gonna yeah. take that from you. But th there's other companies that's gonna help. There's gonna be a lot of money. You know what I mean? Just do the right thing with it, man. Yeah, Don't go I heard straight that. and buy Jordans and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, man. All right, bro. Thank you man, so thank much, you for man. Having, man. Thank you, yep. bro. Everyone, everybody, be safe. Aaron, I love you, bro, and I'll see you Yes, soon. sir. Love you too, man. Stay up. Yo. You be safe, man. Yep. Peace.